Hello and welcome to the Killer Bits. I'm Rick and I'm going to be playing Wasteland 2 and hopefully I'm going to be playing it for a good long time to come. Um, I've wanted to play this game for ages, absolutely ages, but um, it's expensive. It really is and I hate early access. Uh, I mean look, Red Boots DLC. Alright. Fair comment, guys. Fair comment. Right, no, um, I've wanted to play this game for absolutely ages. Um, huge fan of the genre. Um, really looking forward to it. But £30 is a lot of money for me to spend on a an early access title. And I hate early access. I really do. Um, long story short, I've caved in and we've decided that we will have a good old laugh. So, um, here's Make Your Squad. Um, we're going to... I've had, you might have noticed, it said continue on the front. I've had a bit of a play with this. It's not completely blind, but when I say I've had a go with it, I mean I've literally gone so far as having a little bit of a play with this bit, so I'm not completely swamped. Um, we've got four slots, so we're going to do the four killer bits, and we're going to completely, uh, we're going to completely stereotype the lot of us. So I'm getting a very Fallout vibe. Obviously, let's just get that over and done without the way. It's a shiny fallout. That's that's how this is going to go from here on. But anyway, um, so let's start with myself. Um, I would say that we're going to need to fit the uh, the major major cliches. So we'll go for ranged weapons. So I'm going to have all the ranged weapons. I'm fairly smart. I'm definitely not very charismatic. I'm pretty lucky, but I'm more coordinated. But I'm, yeah, yeah, okay. Twelve skill points remaining. We're gonna go assault rifles, sniper rifles, do, 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 do. knowledge skills. Um, no, we'll have us. We'll have a skill person. We'll have weapon people. Okay, I'm definitely a smart ass, and. Uh, I can give myself a dot's worth of leadership just for, for shits and giggles. My name is Richard Stamp. I am 28. I have no religion. I'm going to smoke some coffin nails and I'll be an American. I am a man. Just just in case anyone was aware. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll go, we'll go this guy and... Okay, the hair selection just appears to be a variety of hats. Oh, there's some hair. Yep, screw it. Okay, screw it. Alright, so next we're going to need Toby, who is just going to be a powerhouse of punching things. So, Toby's pretty aware. He's pretty beefy. He's alright. He's fairly charismatic. He's pretty coordinated. Okay. So, Toby, bladed, brunt, blunt, brawling. Oh no, that, we should, uh... We'll kill Brawling. He likes hitting things with other things. Hitting motherfuckers with other motherfuckers. Oh, we're getting demolitions as well. Punching things and blowing things up. That's what Toby does best. That's our Toby Ellis. He's 20 something. Let's just put 25 in there. He's not very religious. He smokes the bones. I'm fairly certain he's Russian. Uh, let's give him a different head. Let's give him a kick-ass face tattoo. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's Toby. Except we need more hair. Let's give him a rucksack. Let's, yeah, screw it, that's fine. So we need Fran. Um, Fran will be our... Well, Fran's doing a master's degree, so she's the she's the skilled person. We'll give her some luck. She's pretty aware. Here we go. Um, so let's give her lots of skills. Let's give her the knowledge skills and the general skills. Right, well, she's definitely a hard ass. Um, I imagine she gets what she wants. Let's make repair, field repair. Demolitions? No, we've, we've got demolitions. Go away, demolitions. I don't want you anymore. Nobody wants you, demolitions. Oh, how do I undo that? Oh, that's, that's kind of frustrating. Oh, there it is. Okay. Never mind, I'm just being an idiot. Field medic, fine. Lock picking? Lock picking? Yeah. Okay. Fran Jagger. She's somewhere in the 20s. 
I really should get to know my people better. She smokes Red Rooster. And I'm pretty sure she's Chinese. That loot. So, the last and least often mentioned is John, who gets all of our stuff for us. So, we're going to give him tons of charisma. He's fairly aware. And let's. No, John's not a lucky person. John's not a lucky person at all. Um. But he's wiry and small, so I imagine he's quite fast and quite smart. So again, let's see what skills we haven't got. So let's give him a sound alarm disabling. Because um, he's always telling us not to be alarmed about things. Uh, safe cracking. Toaster toaster repair. To toaster repair. Um, and we're going to want the... All of the leadership things. So barter. Yes, absolutely barter. Um, I imagine he's quite perceptive. Um, to get all those things, I imagine he's kissed some asses. Okay. John Brassington. That's Icarus Films. If you ever need them for stuff. John is as old as the sun. Like, can I just put 30 plus in there? No. Okay. I know he's older than Donkey Kong. I'm fairly certain he's a Mormon. I know for a fact he doesn't smoke. Um, and he hides his Mexican roots quite well. That's not a good picture of John. Let's switch it to male. That's how I imagine John. No, that's 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 the John we know. That's, uh... Yeah, why not? Excellent. There we go. Sorry that took so long. Uh, we are going to play on Seasoned. Although I like the fact that the hard difficulty is called Supreme Jerk. So I'm planning on uh, getting through the first mission, seeing where it likes. Uh, if we can get some laughs and some chuckles and some likes and some subscribes, everyone's happy. But at the end of the day, either you like what I'm doing or you don't. And if you do like it, then maybe next week or whenever I will get Toby to sit down with me and we'll turn it into a bit of a two-headed affair. Um, it's something we've talked about. Toby's got his Thank you, Dark Souls Sunday. Um... Uh, yeah, it was about time I had a series, so uh, we're going to appeal to my love of open world and mass genocide. I appreciate okay. you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party. You hardly knew the man. Appropriate, okay. too. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert. I'm going to be glossing over most of this. Um, it's your standard starting mission. I have played to the end of this mission, so I know vaguely what to expect. Anything after this is just going to be lots and lots of talking. Uh, I like the way it highlights potential, uh, potential talking areas. There we go. Now that doesn't look like your pit boy map, does it? It's hard not to draw the obvious parallels between this and Fallout. I mean, you can argue Wasteland came first and Fallout refined it, and this yes, is just taking back from it, there, but you'd be wrong, because this is just... It's it's not hex-based. It's very smooth. Um, it feels unfinished. I feel like the character models aren't as wonderful as they should be. There's no move to the edge of the screen mouse scrolling. That shouldn't bug me as much as it does. In a way, you get used to the uh, WASD for moving stuff around, and that's not an issue. You know what? Okay. Yeah. Ow. Ow! Damn it. Yep, absolutely deserved, asshole. Let's go. Anyway. So, yeah, it's still in development. Um, it feels fairly unfinished. There's a couple of tweaky bits I'd like to see done. Um, I'd like to see that $50 Red Boots DLC we saw on the starting screen for a start. That'd be nice. Um... I don't know. Like, I'm still struggling to get my teeth into it. 
there are some parts that look very nice. Um, Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Copy. Roger, Echo One. Just making sure your radio is working. I'll be your dispatcher from here on out. I also wanted to give you a little head. 10-4, Echo One, okay. carry on. So, Ranger Command out. Basically, you need to find oasises on your journey. Otherwise, you will, as you can see, you will run out of water and die. I like that. I think that's very nice. You can freely travel around, or you can go back to these places. Last time I did this, I found a merchant who didn't have anything for sale. Struck me as a bit odd. And there was an oasis around here. Interested to see if they're randomly generated. Potentially not. Got some water. Oh, and some radiation. That's nice. Dangerous raiders. Now this is randomly generated. So let's kill some dangerous raiders on the way to our first real mission. Okay, can't see anyone. Okay, are we... Yeah, we're just casually turning our backs on them. So... <laughs> armed with a stick. Toby's armed with a knife. Let's see if we can get Toby to injure some people. Okay. Now we're into it. Got the action bar at the top. That's nice. Toby's getting a, a bit of beating. John and Fran around with sticks. Okay, so it's John's turn. Let's come on, John. Let's go over here. Uh, let's, let's get you just out of harm's way. Why did he get three movements? This is going to take some getting used to. Okay. So now we have Fran. He's going to hit him with a stick. I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. And move. And then move again. Okay. There we go. That's just Toby. And then Toby gets to move to here. And then Toby gets to move to here. I'm lucky, I get plus one AP. I'm gonna shoot this guy. Not enough AP. Turn. You get your usual leftover AP to armor value. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, come on. John is not doing a great job of things, which is an issue. I feel like perhaps I should have gone with some pre-generated characters. It was the fun in that. Although, to be fair, we do have Toby. I think Fran and John will take a little while to get into their respective comfort zones of doing things. Uh, how much range do I have? Oh, okay. Quite a lot of range. That's good. I like this... Um, dot matrix printed readout in the corner. I think that's very nice. Hopefully after this we give Fran a pistol. Did I give Fran any pistol skill? Probably not. I don't think I've thought this through at all. Bang. Good job. So that could have gone better, could have gone worse. We've got some broken sunglasses. Didn't get the gun he had. Why did. I would definitely have picked up the gun. Crucifix fix cards. Okay, I think, I think we're done. How do we leave? Anyone see a leaving thing around here? Oh. This game is not intuitive as I... Ah, there it is. Maybe it is pretty intuitive. Maybe I'm just an idiot. That's uh, that's up for you guys to decide, I guess. Right, let's jump in here. 
Actually, this encounter. Jesus, is that the time? I've been running for about 15 minutes now. So I think what I will probably do is go to this enormous, suspicious looking X. Which is where I need to be. That's the radio tower. Let's pop in and say hello. Yes, I want to enter the radio tower. I am probably going to leave it there, actually. I'm going to leave it up to you. Do you want to see this first mission? Do you want to see me flailing around and see what potentially comes of the post-apocalyptic killer bits? Uh... Roger that, Echo One. Okay. When you reach the area where Ace's body was found, give it a good going over. The folks that picked him up said it looked like he crawled there. Maybe you can find some tracks leading to where he was attacked. Copy? Copy. 10-4, Echo One, and check in immediately with any new info. Those repeater units are a top priority. Ranger Command out. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want to see some more. Let me know if you don't want to see any more. Just let me know either way. Um, you should definitely have watched this far through it. Uh, because it's a quite a good looking game. Like I said, I'd like to see it some polish, but... You know what, by the time we finish with this run, it might even be out for real, and we can uh, look back fondly. Um, if you want to know more about the Kilobits, we're on facebook.com forward slash the Kilobits, we're on Twitter at the Kilobits, and we're obviously right here on YouTube at the Kilobits. Um, that was a bit superfluous, uh, and I will leave before I say anything else to truly discredit myself. Thank you very much, goodbye. Mm -hmm.